Hey guys, it's LA Calibre Superstar and welcome back to another video. Hey guys, so real quick disclaimer, I am so sorry that I've been absent for like an entire month. Um, we have been packing up, if you don't know, we're moving within like the next month. And so we've just been packing up and all that stuff. And I've been with family for the past month and we've had teen camp and kids camp and my parents run those events. So it's just been so crazy and I haven't really had time to film or edit. I had two videos that are ready to upload, but I was in an area where I had Wi-Fi most of the time. Because um, like I said, I was at camp. And I was a CIT counselor in training and I yelled a lot a lot and so that's why my voice sounds a little bit different <clears throat> i'm sorry about any background noise the air conditioning decided to start going when i started filming but today is a video that i've been waiting for for the longest time it is you probably know by the this video the soft and slow squishy diys these have been out for months now but your girl has been collecting them because let me just tell you let me just tell you, this pack of markers right here, I spent months looking for these. Months looking for these. And in those courses of months, I was able to collect a few different of the squishies. So we're just going to get into it. Might as well grab a snack or something because this is going to be a quite a long video. They are just pretty much fabric markers. And they're soft and slow squishy markers. That's literally what they are. Okay, and then these squishies that we have are we have this donut, which I got from my cousin. And then the rest of these I got from Michael's. So I have this, like, double-layered cookie. And this is so soft, it looks like. I, I think I have an idea for this little guy. Oh, Okay, so I think I'm going to start off first with... The donuts. So I don't have, they didn't give you like a tan color. And your girl's not about to go find some puffy paint. So I'm just going to leave this white, I guess. And then I think I'm going to go in with pink. Okay, so that didn't take me too, too long, surprisingly, but if you guys can tell, it's like super patchy. Um, let me, it looks like veins. Let me see if I can get my light and show you guys what it looks like. Like, you guys can kind of see it, but you see how it's like a purpley pink, sort of like, I don't know, it just doesn't look the best. So I'm going to let that dry and then come back and do the sprinkles. Okay, so here's what the donut looks like with the second coat. It looks a lot more vibrant and a little less patchy, but it looks definitely a lot more shiny now. Um, so now I think I'm going to go in and do sprinkles, I guess. So I think I'm going to go in with these colors right here for the sprinkles, just because they're like pastels and white, you know. So I'm just going to kind of go in and do sprinkles. Okay, so this one is probably my favorite out of all of them, even though it is the simplest and the most boring one probably, but it is just this super adorable, super simple um, pink cup, I keep saying cupcake, pink donut that has some sprinkles. I will have to say that the pink is very wrinkly when you squish it. Okay, so next I think I'm going to be doing the cupcake. And I think I want to go for a metallic vibe, if you know what I mean. So I think I want to do like a golden type of look, maybe. So I think I might do like a tie-dye. Okay, so here is what it looks like once it is all dried. It's not the cutest thing in the world, 
but whatever i have also found that this blue the dark blue is super patchy but i'm not about to go in and fix this right now so now i'm going to take the gold color and do the bottom like it's like foiled or whatever you know gold kind of um let me just see okay so you see how gorgeous it looks well towards the end it kind of started to look like that so i'm gonna let this dry and then do a second coat on the parts that came kind of dull here's what the cupcake turned out looking like it honestly looks terrible um this is probably my least favorite Okay, so continuing on with food, I think I'm going to do the cookie next because I still don't know what to do with this little guy. Or should I do a 4th of July cookie? Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. It's kind of rough, as you can tell, but I will see you guys when it's fixed up and dried so I can finish it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and try to finish this bad boy up. Picking it up. Loving, I'm living, so we turn it up. Yeah, we turning it up. Okay, guys, so here is what the um, for the July cookie looks like. Um, it's kind of messy, but I'm just going to leave it how it is. Okay, so now it is time for the one that I'm probably most excited for, which is the little animal. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it like a bear. I mean, that's pretty much what it is right now. And I'm going to be doing it rainbow. So let's do that. So this one is probably my second favorite. Um, this is Rainbow. It just kind of looks a little weird on camera. But it is super, super airy. But if you couldn't tell when I squished it, all the colors kind of did that. I'll put it in slow-mo real quick. So, and the face is a little weird looking, but you know best I could do as you can see it is already cracking okay so I have finished doing all of them and my opinion on these um and the soft and slow DIY squishies are that is that they are already cracking and coming off on there on there Donut is doing really well. Um, I really like the donut. I also wish that they had a tan color or a brown, if you know what I mean. Like, you would think with all these other different colors that they have, like the metallics and two different kinds of blue, and how close the orange and the, um, and the, orange and the red are, and there's no yellow. Like, you would think they would have at least a brown or, or a tan. Um, this one is cracking really badly as well. Um, so yeah, I would probably give this, it was so much fun to do, like this was a lot of fun to do, it's not as messy, this is all that I got really on my hands, and I've tried puppy paint before, I only got a little bit on the table, um, I've tried puppy paint before, and it is terrible, absolutely terrible, and so stinking messy, so I would probably give this a 7 out of 10, just because it was fun, and they are cute, but the cracking and the drying process of it, they do dry really quickly, 
but just that they crack so easily. Um, I would say about a seven and a half to eight out of ten. And so yeah, I would recommend these if you like to do squishies and that kind of stuff. But yeah. So thank you guys so so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to become an official superstar. Hit the notification bell to become part of the hashtag Panda Squad, which is our secret notification squad. And comment down below if you want me to do more Panda shoutouts because I haven't done those lately. And also thank you guys so so much for 300. I was literally shaking in my boots. Um, thank you guys so much. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. L out. Peace.